um, simulation. So the first thing we need to do to get into the NASTRAN environment is go to Autodesk and into NASTRAN under our environments panel over here. Now, what you'll see is um, I've got some beams over here which have been um, inserted from the using the frame generator. So the nice thing about doing this is when I do my idealizations, um, it's going to automatically recognize that those are uh, line elements and then go and convert those for me. So at the top over here, you'll see there, I've got beam one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down to beam 23 over here. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna put in some constraints and lows just to, to lock this thing down. Um, and a good idea when putting in these constraints, actually, you know, name them as you go along. It's much easier to, to identify it uh, by saying, you know, foot constraint or, you know, whatever it is, than just seeing constraint one to, you know, 52011. Okay, so I'm just going to say, right, I don't want it to translate or rotate either, and I'm just going to go and put it on the end points of these lines over here. Okay, so it's going to be a very simple structure, I'm not really looking at how this, um, how, you know, how we analyze this, I'm just taking a look at how we create subcases. So you see over here, it creates the first one, subcase one, and if you want to see and look at, uh, at where it actually is structured, you'll see over there, I've got my uh, my constraints over there. Once this is done over here now, um, I'm now gonna go put my load on. And uh, with my loads, I want this to be, um, okay, let's just make this force one, or downward load, let's just, you know, down, downward load. And on this over here, I'm gonna choose my entity and just select that entire line over there. Let's just make sure that it's going the right way. Um, as you'll see there, my Y goes down, so positive Y is down. I'm gonna say, let's make this 1,000 Newtons. Now, what happens if I wanna see what this looks like, you know, after running the analysis with maybe 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, and 3,000 Newtons? How do I get those different ones and let it calculate, um, but then be able to see the different, um, the different values for the stresses that it's actually undertaking? So what I can do over there is, is I can create a subcase. So with a subcase over here, I've got subcase one, and I'm gonna go rename that. I'm gonna say 1,000 Newtons, okay? And right click on this, and I'm gonna go duplicate. Okay, so what it does is it creates another analysis as a subcase with um, a downward load and your foot constraint. Now, the, the problem I've got with this over here is that you know, if you want to have the same constraints going on, because it does make a copy of it, but if you want to have the same constraints on it, then what I'd do is I would go down to where my model is over here and go and drag those constraints up into the subcases, or uh, we can just edit them. So I'm going to just rename this. I'm going to say 1,500. I'm not going to do another copy. Let's just do three. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, duplicate. Okay, let's make this 2000. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my 1500. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go edit. And here it gives me the opportunity over here to see which ones I want. So I'm actually gonna say, I'm gonna deselect the, this, oh no, so delete, I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, but I'm gonna deselect my constraint over here and put just my foot constraint on. Okay, and then the same thing with the, the 2000 load, I'm gonna go edit it. I need it to be constraint one, deselect that constraint, and I'm gonna have copy two because I actually want to go and change it. So now what we're gonna do is for the load over here, I'm going to, I'm gonna just type in 1500. Okay, right click, edit. You'll notice there that the force is 1000. So it's the same as my first subcase that I've created. And I'm gonna say it must be, uh, let's see over here, 1500. Okay. And then for the third one over here, let's go make this 2000, just so that's easier to recognize. Okay, right click, edit. And I'm going to change that load to 2000 newtons. Okay. So with minimal fuss, I've been able to create three different loads. I've got my, my 1000, I've got my, uh, 1,500 and I got my 2,000 as well. Then one of the nice things about in Inventor Nastran is that it will then go and calculate all of them 
at the same time. So I'm just renaming this so I can see exactly what's going on. So the first thing we do is just go generate a mesh. And this should be quite quick because we are looking at, uh, at 1D elements. Okay, so there it's meshed it. And then what we can do is we can go run the analysis. So what it will do is because we've built up these three subcases, it will then load up and give us the values for all three subcases. Okay. So there we go, Nashran solution complete, and it should give us our results over here. So at the top, you'll see there's an option over here. So at the moment, it's looking at 2000. So it's looking at the values for your 2000 load case. Okay, so 13.222. If I go to my 1500, so remember 13.222. you will now see the value should lessen. Okay, so there we go, 9.916 for 1500. And if I had to go to 1000, it should change that as well. So you see this actually very, very nice way where we can have different loads running on the same, um, you know, on the same a model through different subcases in Nastrain. And this is something that you are not able to do in, in just the normal inventor simulation. And there we go, 6.611. Thank you very much for watching.